okay here if current flows for small interval of time the angular impulse is given by we have already discussed that angular impulse and this angular impulse angular impulse is equal to tau into dt it is the small period of time this is the torque and we have already calculated torque and it is given by n into b into i into a into dt and total angular impulse is given by integrating the angular impulse if you integrate angular impulse we will get total angular impulse total angular impulse is equals to integration of n into b i a into dt now i am going to simplify this equation n b a is constant so i am taking these terms outside n into b into a integral i dt we know that i is equals to change in charge by change in time and if you into change this term we will get i dt is equals to dq so if you substitute i dt value here we will get n into b into a integral dq which is equals to n into b into a into q where q is the total charge passed through the coil if i be the moment of this is and the next point is if i be the moment of inertia and omega be the angular velocity of the moving coil then angular momentum is given by that is l is equals to i omega here one we need to remember one point that is total angular impulse is is equals to the angular momentum so this equation becomes n into b into a into q which is equals to i omega where n is the total number of turns b is the magnetic field a is the area of the copper coil q is the total charge which is passed through the copper coil which is equals to i omega where i is the moment of inertia omega is the angular frequency okay now let us see the next point here as the coil starts rotating it possesses kinetic energy which is is equals to when coil start to rotate from its initial position due to the torque it produces it is having some amount of kinetic energy when it moves from its initial position and it is given by kinetic energy is equals to 1 divided by 2 i omega square where i is the moment of inertia omega is the angular frequency okay the next point is this energy is utilized in twisting the suspension this is the amount of energy which is used for to produce twist in the suspension strip and work done is calculated as follows 
now what we are going to do we are going to find work done to produce twist in the suspension strip and we know that work done is equals to integral to dt integral to d theta and we know that when suspension wire twists the restoring couple is given by we know that when a wire gets twisted a restoring couple is developed and it is given by tau is equals to c into theta and if you substitute this tau value in the above equation we get work done is equals to integral c into theta d theta if you integrate this equation we will get c theta square divided by 2 and also we know that okay now let us see the next that is the work done in twisting the suspension wire is equal to kinetic energy we have already discussed that when copper coil rotates from its position it produces twist in the suspension strip this the amount of energy which is used to rotate this copper coil is equal to the the amount of work done to produce twist in the suspension strip are equal so what happens the amount of kinetic energy which is used for rotation of copper coil is equal to the the amount of work done which is created in the twisting the suspension wire are both equal so we can write kinetic energy that is 1 by 2 i into omega square is equals to the 1 divided by 2 c into theta square here 1 by 2 1 by 2 gets cancelled so this equation becomes i omega square is equals to the c theta square and we have already calculated i omega now let us see the next point here we have calculated i omega square is equals to c theta square and we have already calculated that i omega is equals to n into b into a into q if you interchange if you scale this equation we will get i square omega square is equals to n into b into a into q whole square and i omega square is equals to n into b into a into q whole square divided by i if you substitute i omega square value in the above equation we will get n into b into a into q whole square divided by i is equals to c theta square now i am going to interchange terms and i will multiply in this equation multiply and divided by c then we will get n into b into a into q whole square divided by i which is equals to c square theta square divided by c and if we interchange terms we will get n into b into a into q whole square divided by c square theta square which is equals to i divided by c and we can write this equation n into b n into b into a into q divided by 
c theta is equals to square root of i divided by c okay okay now let us see next point here the time period of oscillation of moving coil of moment of inertia is given by t is equals to 2 pi into square root of i divided by c here if a current i flows through this copper coil in the presence of magnetic field this copper coil starts oscillation and we can write this equation that is oscillation for we can write the time period equation for oscillation which is equals to t is equals to 2 pi square root of i divided by c and we have already calculated square root of i by c value which is equals to n into b into a into k divided by c theta if you substitute this value in the above equation you will get time period is equals to 2 pi into n into b into a into k divided by c theta and if you interchange terms we will get t by 2 pi into c theta divided by n b into a which is equals to q and q is equals to t divided by 2 pi into c divided by n b a into theta this is t by 2 pi into c divided by n b a is a constant so q is proportional to theta that is the amount of charge that is total charge which is proportional to the deflection theta here q is the total amount of charge which passes through the copper coin and theta is the deflection okay now let us see the experimental arrangement of ballistic galvanometer this is the copper coin and this is the suspension strip a mirror is attached to the suspension strip and here a scale is used to measure the amount of deflection here a lamp is used this lamp produces light this light will incident on mirror when the copper coil rotates it produces twist in the suspension strip let us suppose some amount of charge flows through the copper coil then it produces some deflection in the scale that is it shows some less deflection let us suppose a large amount of charge which flows through the copper coil then it produces a greater deflection in the scale this is this deflection gives us theta value and the amount of charge which is flows through the circuit gives q value that is the greater the charge flows in the copper coil here we can observe the greater deflection if less amount of charge flows through the copper coil we are going to observe a less deflection in the scale okay this is all about a ballistic galvanometer so far we have discussed principle construction working and theory of ballistic galvanometer okay